All right. There we go. There we go. And he came out. Oh my God, this pond is sick, dude. There we go. Pond. Oh my God. There we go. There we go. Oh God, yeah. That's not a bad fish. That's not a bad fish. There we go. Oh, that's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. Oh my God, that's a nice fish. I told you guys there was a giant in here. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It is a beautiful morning here in good old Boston. I've never really dialed in any ponds in Boston, so every time I drive up here, I pass this pond, okay? And I wanna fish it so bad. And that's exactly what we're doing today. The only thing I have on me is my terminal tackle box, and that's it. Besides of my lovely, beautiful mystery tackle box, which is the sponsor of today's video. If you don't know what mystery tackle box is, you must be new here. I talk about them all the time. Basically, Mystery Tackle Box is a monthly subscription-based company. You get a box full of baits just like this, shipped to your doorsteps every single month. I will total up the price for you guys on the screen. Can you guys even see that? All right, hopefully you guys can see that. I'm not really sure, but this is the bait card that I have in my hand right here. Basically, this card will tell you everything you got in the box and the prices, I'll, you know, total it up on the screen for you guys. You guys can get your first box for as low as $9.99 with my code BECCA at checkout. Make sure you use my code, help support the channel and get yourself some baits. It's a win-win for everyone. I love Mystery Tackle Box. I've been using Mystery Tackle Box. I was using Mystery Tackle Box a year prior to me even having the channel. I'm gonna unbox this for you guys really quickly. I'm actually filming this a little bit different. I already fished, but that's because I woke up at 5.30 this morning. It was pitch black out, okay? Couldn't film an intro. You guys probably would have hated me if I filmed an intro on the pitch black. So here we are. Time to open up this beaut. I already know what's in it because I kind of already fished with it. But first things first is we got the Guggen Squad Hummer. Hmm, not in the package. So I guess you guys can kind of tell what I used like crazy in today's video. You guys are gonna see this thing perform unreal. We end up catching a nice little Northern toad on this thing this morning. Uh, I got jacked to say the least. So here we go. Bait number one in the mystery tackle box. Bait number two, which was also used a lot. You can't tell there's only two left in the pack. I don't know how to pronounce this. Creek Craw, Junebug, Weston Baits right here. Weston Baits are uh, making a name for themselves in the fishing industry right now. It's really impressive. And I highly enjoy using their baits. Next thing's next. Also, I wanted to mention, um, lock my truck that was a weird noise what was i gonna say i i i, I brought out the guggen hummer packaging from mr tackle box i have no idea that just freaked me out so bad anyways we're gonna continue you guys are here to save me <laughs> i have pepper spray we're fine um we have the net bait lizard green pumpkin magic is the name of it this thing also gets some use today, which was extremely sick. Next thing next, which I sadly didn't get to whip out, but I heard really, really great stuff about. This is the 13 Fishing Jabberjaw 60. Uh, this, the crankbait bill up here actually goes side to side and it's metal. So something really cool and innovative. Next thing next, we got two more baits, right? Or do we have three? We have three more baits. If you want to count this as bait, these things are so dope, man. EWG standard three aught hooks, and there's two in here. They're just absolutely wild looking. Just so if you guys can get a good look at that. That is not your normal hook. It is crazy looking to say the least. Uh, next thing's next, we got Gambler, Gambler Go Fish Lures. I've got these before in my Mr. Tackle Box and I have not hated them. They are pretty sweet. What the heck is this thing? Whoa. What is this called? Flap and Chad. Dude, that's sick. I would put that in the back of a chatterbait or a spinnerbait all day long. That thing's sweet. Last thing's last that came in this month's mystery tackle box is the usual unbelievable sticker. This is one of my favorite stickers I've ever came out with. Like this thing is just freaking sweet. You get one every single month. Um, I, this is just sick. It says Ketchco. It's a ninja and a bass. Pretty sweet. If you guys want to go check them out, they'll be linked down below. Highly recommend it. 
For all you Guggenbaits lovers out there, you do get Guggenbaits in your mystery tackle boxes here and there. Probably like, I would say like every other, maybe something like that. But if you guys wanna go check that link down below, they're a beautiful and long-term sponsor. We've been working together uh, for a really long time now. So definitely check them out, feel free. Um, and just kick back, relax, and enjoy today's episode. Cause today's episode is one of my favorites I've filmed in a while because it was just like on a whim, woke up, pulled an all-nighter. Um, don't ask me why I pulled an all-nighter, just things just happen sometimes. And uh, here we are. And we cranked some freaking big. So make sure to sit back, relax, and enjoy today's episode. I'm gonna go get some coffee while you guys watch today's video. And I'll, I'll see you guys at the end of the video. Let me know, comments, questions, concerns. But, but I have a bug on me. Oh, that bug was gross, man. Anyway, sit back, relax, and enjoy today's episode. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all the support, and I'll catch you guys at the end of the episode. Uh, enjoy watching me go crank some bigs. I got a bug bait and a creature bait. My two confidence baits that will hopefully land me fish this morning. No idea if there's fish in here. I mean, I'm sure I already kind of said this in the intro that, you know, I haven't filmed yet, but you know, you guys definitely saw the intro. <laughs> but the sun literally just came up. I'm shocked the GoPro lighting is as good as it is right now. And I have never been here in my entire life, but I pass this place all the freaking time. And I've been dying to fish it, so here we are. <sighs> okay, here we go. No turning back now. First cast with the buzz bait. There we go, there we go. You're kidding. No, dude, there's actually fish in here. What? I got completely skunked at that first one. Did you guys see it blow up? Because I didn't, I wasn't even paying attention if I'm being completely honest. Okay, that's, that's fine. I don't even care that we didn't bring that fish in. I'm just happy to see that there's actually fish that lives in these ponds because I had no freaking idea if there was or not. I just came out of here on a whim. Which is usually how my videos go anyways, is on a whim. That's cool. There's actually fish here. Oh God, yeah. Another one. Another one scheming, scheming. <laughs> yes. That's not a bad one. I'll take that for the first fish of the day. A little bit bigger than our first one. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, this fish doesn't look like it's ever even been caught before. I mean, now he does, I, I'm sorry. Trailer hook got him and that regular hook. <laughs> See you later, buddy. Same exact spot as the other one. That's wild. I prefer to use a trailer hook on the back of a buzz bait. One of my favorite videos ever um, on my channel. Uh, I struggled to catch a fish for weeks, like weeks. And I was struggling to make content so freaking bad. And I had a buzz bait on and I was like talking to you guys and saying how like, you know, I've been struggling to make content the last couple of days, whatever. And I took a cast with the buzz bait, my first cast of the morning with a buzz bait. Telling you guys, you know, whatever, like it's been hard and whatnot. I catch a six pounder. I would have never caught that six pounder if I didn't have that trailer hook on. Um, and many other occasions, I wouldn't have caught a fish, period, without that trailer hook. So I guess it's just all preference. I understand if you want to use a trailer 
I know a lot of people that use a trailer and a trailer hook. Um, it just came, seems like a little bit of a cluster to me, but it does work, so that's always an option. But uh, yeah, this trailer hook is a lifesaver. I actually got this exact one in Shop Parles. I'll leave the link down below for you guys. Hopefully it'll save you guys from losing fish on the buzz bait. I mean, no matter what top water you use, you're gonna you're gonna lose more fish than the, you uh, see blow up on your bait. It's just kind of how it goes. But let's keep fishing this pond. I'm hopeful. Finally hopeful. <laughs> What? Oh my god, did you guys see that? My buzz bait was messed up. Dude, this could get stupid. Yeah, my buzz bait's messed up. What's wrong, bud? Yeah, that could definitely be why. There we go. There we go. Another one. Another one. <laughs> For the fish. Like the size of these fish that are in here, they fight hard. I'm telling you, I don't know if anyone's ever fished these freaking ponds before. Let's see. Trailer hook got him as well as the main hook. The main hook got him a lot better than the trailer hook, which is, you know, why it's the main hook. Of course, of course. Wow, your teeth are really sharp. Oh, there we go. Buddy was not going anywhere. See you later, bud. Oh. That was a really bad release on my part. I was just holding him weird. Try not to release your bass like that. I apologize, I apologize. Let's do better on the next one. Hopefully there's a next one. <laughs> there's just gotta be a giant in here. Like no better way to freaking do this, man. Throwing top water at a brand new pond you've never been to. It doesn't get much better than this. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, what the heck? How did I? Oh my God. I am so sorry, dude. You blew up on it. It must have just swiped at it. I've never hooked a bass like that in a buzz bait. Okay, I'm so sorry. Let's get you back right now. Bye, buddy. I feel terrible. I don't even know how I managed that. I feel like that, you know, I couldn't really avoid that. A fish blew up. I was going to set the hook. I'm glad I got him, but at the same time, I kind of wish I didn't. Those are the fish that are kind of hard to count as like an actual catch because like you caught him, but like in the worst way possible. <laughs> Plus that just means he didn't fully commit to the bait, you know. Oh my God, that was a big fish. That was a big fish. Oh man, I wish I had someone throwing a long lens right now. To, uh, so you guys could have seen that thing. That was insane. I like cast it on the bank, obviously accidentally, and he came out. Oh my God, this pond is sick, dude. Can't tell if this is a good fish or not. No, just another little guy, but that other one was a giant and I know there has to be more. Oh, dude, another weird hooked fish. Another really weirdly hooked fish. Gotta say, I usually hook him at the roof of the mouth on the buzz bait and have no issues, but trailer hook got him as well as the main hook. Bye, buddy. Oh, I was gonna get down lower until you flopped out of my hand. Okay, for never being here, this almost seems staged. Like, this is just pure luck. There's so many golf courses. Oh my god! Oh my god! There's so many golf course spawns. <sighs> in this area and I just chose this one because because it looks the best. Oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. Did you guys see that bulb? What is going on? What? <laughs> Dude. Or just make that bomber cast again and I backlash. But it doesn't matter because he pulled on it again. He blew it off, out of the water. Oh, gotta get this backlash out. Oh my God, this is insane. How have we not gotten kicked out? I do not condone trespassing by any means, but there's so many fish catches on fish brain at a, a place across the street. 
and um, it wasn't tagged here the fish catches but the fish catches that were tagged look exactly like these golf course ponds so I think someone was just tagging across the street so people wouldn't think that you know they're fishing these golf course you know how a fish brain goes if you if you're a fish brain user you know he didn't come back for it I know what he will come back for oh my god something just waked on it Dude, okay, I know. Uh, I know exactly what he will come back for. That bait that we have, the Weston, whatever. I don't remember the name of it, but this thing looks juicy. And there's a couple spots over here I can't get with a uh, buzz bait, so it's actually kind of perfect. Like right in front of me with all these lilies. That's one thing about the buzz bait; it doesn't make it through uh, much of the thick stuff. Oh my God, I missed him. He did go after it. Whatever freaking bass is over there, he's the pickiest bass in the world. Let's try to get a different angle on him. Oh, man. Oh my God. Oh my God. The second it hit the water. Oh my God. He came back for it. Oh. <laughs> he ripped one of the freaking things off. There we go. There we go. Let's go, baby. This is so wild, man. Uh, uh, there we go. Oh, got him on two baits out of the mystery tackle box. I tried to uh, convince myself that I needed to catch fish on another bait. Just, just so I know I'm not only using Guggen baits. See you later, bud. I'm gonna take another cast at the over there because I got bit twice on that first cast. This place is insane. Out of every golf course pond I could have went to this morning. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> this is stupid. This is stupid. This place is freaking loaded. Oh. This fish is super calm, so I feel like I can actually get a nice release on him. Oh. Dude, he like tail slapped himself. That wasn't me, man. <laughs> All right, let's go literally right in front of where we kept losing that dang fish and throw this creature bait right there. Are you kidding? Please, for the love of God, don't tell me that was a fish. Tell me that was like a frog or a turtle. Oh my God, he hit it. Dude, what is wrong? He took both claws. Took both claws. Not just one, both. Well, he hit it though. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. No. <laughs> Do I just give up on this fish? Like, I feel like we both put each other through some emotional trauma this morning. So I think I'm just gonna put a new crawl on and uh, call it quits on that one. Only on that fish though. We ain't calling it quits in general, but this is that juicy nugget I was telling you about. The, the Crick Craw June Bug color. June Bug is amazing for the exact water clarity that we're throwing in, as well as the Black Buzz Bait, perfect for the water clarity we're throwing in too. So we got the best bait colors for this pond and our mystery tackle box, which usually ends up happening. Like I swear it's, you know, I don't like contact mystery tackle box. I'm like, hey, I'm gonna fish clear water, dirty water this morning. But for some reason I get pretty lucky and I usually don't even bother peeking my mystery tackle box before filming videos kind of ruins the mystery vibe to it, you know? Because then it's only a mystery to you guys, not me, and that's not fun. Oh my God, what a freaking top water blow up, dude. What a top water blow up. He hit it out of the air. Oh, he came back for it. Oh. <laughs> Three times a charm, you know, maybe. Please. Okay, my bad. Fourth time's charm. My bad. Forgot that's how it works. Oh! <laughs> Fifth time's charm. Fifth time's charm. Oh my god. Right where I expected him to be. Well, maybe not fully expected because I just got shocked. 
You know what? They're like weird right now. I'm gonna pick up the craw. Weird, as in just keep missing my bait. There we go. This is the guy that kept hitting the top water. You were six times the charm something. I don't even remember how many times it went up. Ah! Oh, buddy. Give me my hook and my bait. See ya. This place is sick. There we go. Oh, that's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. Oh my god, that's a nice fish. I told you guys there was a giant in here. Let's go, baby. Let's freaking go. I told you guys there would be a giant. Oh, that's a freaking stud. Let's go. <laughs> I'm going to set up my camera really quick and take a picture. All right. Look at that. Back treble hook got him so freaking good. Might snag the pliers real quick. Always carry pliers. There we go. That's a freaking stud. Oh, top water stud. Early morning, new pond. Doesn't get much better than that. What a freaking football, too. Like, just built like an absolute stud. See you later, big Bertha. I'm gonna go find your grandma because I feel like there's bigger in here. I'm not gonna lie, not gonna lie. So sweet. I love fishing. God, I love fishing. There you go. Oh, that was another good one. That was another good one. I'm gonna grab my rod and continue down. I wanna be as respectful as possible. It looks like there's already a golfer here, so I'm gonna try to hurry my booty up scatter a little bit don't want to push my luck because I definitely want to come back here in the future there's definitely fish over here too whoa multiple bass just came after it at once holy crap I saw two weeks not one that's the first time that's ever happened to me two weeks at once there you go that feels pretty decent not bad, not terrible. Yes. They love everything in here. That's just case closed. You can throw a freaking Twizzler at them and they'll freak out. Bye, buddy. Whoa. Whoa. He came out of the water for this crawl. Jeez. <laughs> Hopefully you guys saw that. That one was freaking sweet. Not a big fish. Oh, but he's back, so it doesn't matter. Oh wait, that's not a bad fish. That's not a bad fish. That's not a bad fish. This is not the same one. Get up here. That's our second biggest of the day, and that's like almost a two pounder. That's pretty decent. That's a good freaking fish. That is a good freaking fish. Come here, buddy. I will take you over the little guy that just jumped, and maybe not two pounds, I'd say. Mm, pound and a half, maybe a little bit over a pound and a half. All right, gentle toss. Bye, buddy. Did not realize it was that shallow right there. Oh, no, no, come back. Let's see if the lizard will catch a fish. I don't think it's going to be a problem whatsoever catching a fish on the lizard, but let's just see. Because a lot of these fish aren't necessarily, oh my God, ginormous, so. And I kind of rigged that upside down. Mm, and that was a bad rigging job. Still gonna cast it. But most of these fish are like barely hitting it. But when they do actually hit it, you know, they're getting it. It's like every three are actually eating it. I'm just gonna reel this puppy in like I did with the craw. Just because there's so many freaking weeds. Oh, we got smoked. We got smoked on the lizard. <laughs> just because there's so many weeds and I have a way, way too heavy of a weight on here. I didn't necessarily know what I was fishing, so I just rigged up what I had. That was sweet, oh my god, okay. Oh yeah, 
<laughs> I walked around the whole entire pond just with this lizard because I was so freaking determined. Almost a whole entire lap around the pond again just because I was so freaking determined. Ah, bye buddy. That might be our last fish of the day. If so, I shall meet you at the car, but I'm gonna take a couple more casts, of course, because, yeah, why not? Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. Shout out to Mr. Tackle Box, man. Go, go check them out, link down below. You guys saved my butt this morning, and I was able to fish, and we caught so many bass. The amount of times I've passed this pond, I said to myself, yeah, I'm gonna fish it one day, and I haven't. You know, it was worth the wait, but I'm happy he finally pulled the trigger on it because this place was freaking epic and I know I'm going to come back eventually. I'm not going to overdo it at this pond because I don't like to fish private property all that much. You know what I'm saying? But I like to fish these golf course ponds um, for like a number of reasons, which I'm pretty sure I explained in my intro. But you guys get the gist of it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video as much as I do. Drop some video ideas in the comments down below if you guys want to see anything special. Uh, I got time and I'm going to do it. I got some crazy video ideas coming up that I'm so excited to share with you guys. I spent a lot of money on one of the video ideas coming up and you guys will know exactly which video I'm talking about when the video comes out. I'm not talking thousands of dollars, just, you know, I don't have thousands of dollars, but I did spend a decent amount of money on a video coming up. Uh, should be out sometime in the first or second week of August. Hopefully, we'll see. We'll see how everything turns out, but, uh, I'll be in Cape Cod. That's all I'm telling you guys. That's all I'm telling you guys. I'm going to Cape Cod. That's it, though. Anyways, I love you guys so much. Thank you for all the love and support. Thank you, Mr. Tackle Box, for sponsoring today's video. If you guys want to go check them out, they'll be linked down below. Like always, in the video description, they're always linked. But for this video, a special just for them. Make sure to check them out. Code back at checkout. Save some money on your first box ever. Go catch some bass. And tag me on Instagram if you guys get Mr. Tackle Box and uh, you catch some bass. Because I love seeing when you guys tag me in your Mr. Tackle Boxes on Instagram. Anyways, I love you guys so much. I'm rambling. I'm gonna go get probably some coffee and crank out this video for you guys. I love you guys so much. I'll catch you guys next time. Rack it up, rack it up. I got a bit of the bank to make me a safe house. Shake it up, shake it up. She got her hands on her knees and she bringing the cake out. Smoke it up, smoke it up. I got some gas, some packs. I'm up in the greenhouse. Ball it up, ball it up. I'm with the gang. We taking shots off the rebound. Fucking my post to say now. I've been humble too long.